Yo, what's good, y'all? It's a trail in. I want to say, like, maybe back two, three months ago or something like that, I found out about these free Kiwi cases. And apparently, there were these free boarding pass phone cases that I found on a Facebook ad. And I think I ignored it. Maybe I saw it again on Facebook and then I saw it on Instagram, but I think I saw it on Facebook for like the third time. And that's when I actually bought it because I actually clicked on it the first time. And you know, like when you click on something on the internet or you're shopping or whatever you're doing, it just follows you like everywhere you go. It's just like you can be in a completely different country with different internet on a different device that you never logged into. And they still somehow figure out how to follow you. Yeah, that's kind of what happened here, except I travel countries or switch any devices or nothing. But yeah, I was like free phone cases. That's kind of sketchy. And then when I actually went to buy it, it made me pay for shipping like wow i didn't expect that so i went ahead and just bought it i'm gonna be real with y'all i didn't expect it to show up at my front door i just bought it to see if it was real but yeah so obviously i guess it's real so i'm gonna go and tell y'all about my whole buying experience and the shipping and all that because i got a story for y'all man All right, y'all, so yeah, but this is my free Kiwi travel case right here. And you can see in the background, I got another one. I'll explain that in a minute. But I'm not even gonna lie to y'all, like just getting this case in the first place, that was kind of an issue. But yeah, let me explain myself and why I got that right there. But let me go and explain the whole buying process first because I still think you can get this for free. So basically, I clicked on that ad on Facebook and then it brought me to KiwiCases.com. I don't know if you need that specific link or not. I'm guessing you do. But if I find it in my history, I'll put it in the description if you can use it. But yeah, basically when I got to the website, I started looking for the travel cases because that was what was free. But yeah, I just went to the menu, looked in phone cases, and then I just found travel cases. Started looking for which case I want because they got like pretty much every single city and country or whatever you want on here. So that's pretty dope. Like I can't even lie about that. But yeah, obviously you can see I went with the Los Angeles one because... I don't know, like, why not? You know, like, palm trees and sunshine and California, fine females and In-N-Out Burger. Like, I mean, I could have chose the Chicago one, but I already live, like, two hours away from Chicago, so wouldn't really be that much of a point if you know where kenosha wisconsin is then yeah you probably already know that or if you live out here whatever shout out to trish and jazz but i'm not gonna lie to y'all like it was a hard pick between this and las vegas because like i really like las vegas like maybe i'll move out there one day i don't know but yeah basically you go ahead and click on the case that you want it's zero dollars so i guess you don't need a special link you just go to kiwicases.com but you go ahead and choose your phone model i got the galaxy s10 plus so that's why i went ahead and clicked on but i wish they had the fold though because I got the Galaxy Fold and that's my main phone, but not a lot of phone case companies got a Galaxy Fold case, so it's whatever. But yeah, you just go ahead and add it to your cart. You click on continue. You don't got to click on anything else. Go to the checkout. You can add an order note if you want to. And then you just get to this generic checkout. And I say generic because you probably even seen this screen before. That's because they're using Shopify in here, which does it matter? No, not really. I just thought it was interesting. But you go ahead and put in all your info, and then when you get to the shipping part, it actually asks you if you want to pay $7 or however much you want to pay the quicker you want it. But I mean, like, I'm pretty sure nobody's going to pay more than 7 bucks if the case is free. Well, you go through all that, and then you get to your thank you screen. Well, that sounds easy enough, right? Nope. Let me tell y'all why. So it actually didn't take them that long to get the tracking number and send it out. But the thing is, it just never came. The first shipment never came. Like, that's what they told me. So pretty much when I ordered it, I didn't expect it to show up in like two days. I expected it to show up in like three weeks. So a month came around and I still didn't get anything. So I went ahead and hit them up. So basically, they told me this. So check this out. And I put it in my community tab to share with all y'all. So if you want to go and see it, I'll put the link down below. But yeah, what they told me was I just took a look into your order and it seems like your package got lost in the mail no worries i just had another one shipped for you as an apology we would like to offer you a 50 percent discount on all regular price items which you can apply with code yeah there we go at checkout so i didn't scribble out that code because i didn't really plan on using it so if somebody used it by now then i don't really care if you want to go and try use it you can go ahead and type in here s50 and try to buy something from them but in my head i was just thinking like okay like what are the possibilities of a package actually getting lost in the mail like did this really happen or what but then it actually came in the mail after that so i was like okay it probably did get lost in the mail i don't know and then like i said i ordered this on december and then i got this email on january 11th so 
I'm pretty sure all y'all know about that whole coronavirus or whatever that's called. It's a pretty terrible virus in China and I pretty much heard that Amazon isn't shipping packages from China because of that whole virus thing. So I mean like that could have had something to do with it. But here's something I found in a tracking number that I thought was interesting. So look at this. So you see all this Chinese text right here, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that and I'm gonna go ahead and paste that in Google Translate. But look at this. Logistics order has been created AliExpress platform. So yeah, basically these things just came from AliExpress. But you know what? I really really don't even care enough because I pay like seven dollars for this thing really and I'm guessing they felt bad that mine got lost in the mail as they say so they sent this in the mail too I wasn't supposed to get that the first time though so I mean shout out to them for that though so like they made up for it and just having this case right here like just seeing it in person like man that's dope okay I didn't really know how it would look on the Galaxy S10 like you can see the camera's kind of cutting out that barcode right there but do it really matter but now I got my little Los Angeles case because I don't know trendy Los Angeles why not I want to go and try to scan this at the airport like I'm not gonna lie I don't think I will but like I'm going to Punta Cana in April so I don't know maybe if they let me so I don't think nothing gonna happen though but look at this so like when I posted this on my community tab that I got it somebody asked me to go ahead and scan all these codes so I'm like okay then I'm wondering what's actually gonna pop up then so watch this so I'm gonna go and scan the QR code right here and check that out kiwicases.com okay like that was actually pretty smart like can't even lie and then i gotta get a separate app to scan the barcodes so let's go and scan these bottom ones right here let's see what happened with that so it looks like with this one right here the one on the right it just pulls up kiwicases.com but let's go and do this one on the left so the one on the left it just pulled up and it just shows random numbers so I don't know. Should I go and try it at the airport? I don't even think they'll let me, but I want to try it. And then let me go and do this one at the top. So just KiwiCases.com again. So yeah, pretty much that's what all the barcodes and the QR code do. But besides that, I've been liking this case. Like the buttons on here, the buttons are like, they're not really clicky. You can click on them, but like they're not really that clicky. See, I mean, like that's cool and all, but like one thing I don't really like about this case is it just kind of falls off pretty easily on the sides. So like that's one thing I don't really like about it, but like it was a free case. So like, am I really complaining? Nah, I ain't complaining about this. And then you can see right here, don't really go all the way around. The case is just kind of like right there, just slab in the middle. Like, all right, I can still kind of see my phone color right there. But I mean, it's a comfortable phone and like the texture on here, pretty good you can feel the letters and everything on here but if you go and look at the bottom here you can see like the lines right there from when they was making it but it get dirty like pretty easy like i don't know if you can really see that or not but there's like a decent amount of dirt up in there so yeah definitely collect a lot of dirt over there but i mean besides that i'm good with the case it's just a flimsy little case but like it's still protecting my phone and then you got this one so i still got in this thing right here so obviously i never even tried to use it it's just this little mountains one it's cool and all let me go and slap this on real quick for the first time and yeah so you got the case right there so again same button click to it and then you just got this mountains one so this ain't really for me but like actually i know a female who i could give it to i think she'll like it but yeah all right so that's pretty much it for my kiwi cases i had this thing for like like i said like a week now getting probably close to two weeks now and i mean like so far so good i got another free case out of it because when you actually order the cases they like limit you okay you can only get one case like that's all you can do again like am i really complaining though Nah, I ain't complaining about a free case. And I got to make a YouTube video out of it, so dope. But yeah, y'all, so that's pretty much it for me. So thanks for watching. If y'all got any questions about this, let me know in the comments below. But is it a scam? I don't really think so. I saw somebody on Reddit calling it a scam and they got like a decent amount of upvotes. But do it get the Jennings stamp of approval? So not really this case because like I said, this ain't really my taste. But this, oh yeah, this get the Jennings stamp of approval, like most definitely. Y'all should go and check this out. Like I said, I'll leave the link down below. Or if you want to, I mean, you can scan the QR code. But oh yeah, speaking of Jenny's stamp of approval, check this out. I pretty much got like all these Jenny stamp of approval stickers. Like I probably got like 13 of them. And I literally got it for like a dollar with free shipping by this company named Sticker Mule. So you won't even guess how I found about this. All right, so that was sarcasm, which y'all probably didn't even recognize. But yeah, Facebook ad. So I pretty much just find these free ads like left and right. So I'm not complaining. But do y'all want to see a video on this? Like, let me know in the comments below. But like, I mean, they're just stickers. But they is like some nice stickers. Like, I can't even lie about that. Basically, you choose like one picture and that's all you could choose is one picture. You can't do like 
13 different pictures but you choose like one sticker i chose it to be this small on purpose you can definitely get like a bigger one and yeah i mean like i'm satisfied like that's a pretty dope deal all the company needs to do now is just come through with a dollar shirt and then i'm just gonna die happy but yeah so thanks for watching if you like this video go ahead and give this video a like if you really liked it go and subscribe and i got my galaxy watch update coming out soon because i got that one ui 1.5 on my lte galaxy watch like 20 years later like yeah that was cool thanks a lot sam some but yeah thanks for watching i'll see you on the next one and my thing's dying too but yeah peace out